Hi, this is Pastor Dale O'Shills from Church of the Redeemer in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Thank you so much for joining me for our devotional time today, and I trust that today's word is going to encourage you and guide you, instruct you, to help you to be the person that God really has called you to be. There's a statement that I wrote down that I want to read for you. It says this, God allows circumstances in your life to show you the limits of your strength so that you will seek and discover the greatness of His power. Let me read that again. God allows circumstances in your life to show you the limits of your strength so that you will seek and discover the greatness of His power. There's a story that uh, really illustrates this in the life of the Apostle Paul. There was a time in Paul's life when he was dealing with a severe weakness. We're not quite sure what it was. It could have been a physical ailment or something else, but he felt as though his life was being buffeted by the adversary. And the scripture says that he went to God three times and asked God to remove this circumstance from him. God, take this away. God, take this away. God, take this away. Three times he intercedes, he prays uh, to God for a relief from this situation. And God speaks to Paul in the midst of this, and I won't go into all the detail of what God said to Paul, but in essence, the bottom line of what God said was, he said, Paul, you need to realize that I've allowed this weakness in your life so that you can discover the amazing strength that I can bring you. In fact, he went, he, God said to him, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. And what I want you to remember today is the same thing that Paul needed to remember, the same thing I need to remember, that in my weakness, there's an opportunity for God's strength to be demonstrated. And there are many times in life that God will bring you and bring me to the end of myself, to the end of yourself, so that you discover the limit of what you can do, so that it will cause you to actually seek and discover and to, again, press into the greatness of God's power. And when those moments come, don't fight them. Yield to them and yield to God and learn what Paul learned, that the greater strength comes from yielding our weakness to God because he always shows up with his incredible power.